When I'm enjoying fine smoked meats, the only thing I want to pair it with is a cold, frosty beer. Mm. Which is why tonight, we're in Andersonville. Holy sh At Hopleaf, who've been doing it right for the last 25 years. Smoky makes everything better. David and Sarah know. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. They know what I'm talking about. Michael, we can't begin to talk about Hop Leaf without recognizing the fact that you guys were at the forefront, one of the very first craft beer places to go to in Chicago, right? Yes. You know, when we started, the craft beer thing was very, very new. At that time, most people thought when you ate food, you drank wine. We smashed that convention completely. The beer selection is really great. All of my friends come here for the beers. My parents come here for the beers. They have so much variety, so much to choose from. They know what they're doing, so they can educate me, and I know that I'm getting quality. You're very, very popular and well-known for your mussels and frites. However, this is our smoked episode. We were hoping to find something that you could possibly pair with a fantastic beer that we could smoke while we're here. We are very proud of our charcuterie program. It's no surprise that things made of smoked meats are perfect matches with beer. Some of that comes from Belgium, some of it comes from Germany, some of it comes from the UK, and some of it comes from the United States. It's a smoking pot as opposed to a melting pot. Yes, absolutely. God, that was clever. Yes. While Michael decides... Don't leave me hanging. ...whether or not he wants to high-five me back... Okay. Um... I'm headed to the kitchen to smoke some meat. Jake, I hear about the charcuterie plate. You have a ton of meat you can choose from. What are we gonna smoke? We're gonna choose to do the spicy smoked duck breast. First things up, get you some pink salt, some kosher salt, and some sugar. This will actually help to preserve it for a long period of time. Obviously, a duck breast like this is only good for about four days. Once we turn it into bacon, it should be good for about two months. If hop leaf ever gets swept away by a rainstorm, then we have duck bacon for months. Yes. Perfect. Well, unless I get to it first. You're gonna have to fight me for it, Jake. After our duck breast has cured for a week, it takes a quick dip in the bath to wash off all leftover salt, and it's time to get spicy. Take your duck breast. Mm -hmm. This is just some peppercorns that have been lightly cracked after they were steeped in oil, just to help bring out that extra pepper flavor. Is this where the actual spicy part of this comes from? This is about half of it, and the rest of it comes in on the sauce at the end. The sauce is actually made from all the drippings off of this, so all that extra peppercorn flavor and heat goes back into the sauce. Smoke sauce on top of smoked duck. Oh, yeah. After a day of air drying, the duck breast finally makes its way to the smoker. And I'm gonna let Jake take it from here, because I need to see a man about a beer. Michael, I promised you smoked meats. You came through on the beer side. Yes, I the did. First time tonight, you haven't left me hanging, and I don't want to repeat that again. Smoked meat, smoked beer. It's called Schenkela Rausch beer. It's a German smoked malt beer. Should we toast to our charcuterie and our beer pairings? We should. And to 25 years. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. I think we should eat now. We though. should dive in. Mm. That duck right there, that's why the food gods invented the smoker. That is delicious. It is an ode to the beauty of meat, to the beauty of beer, and to the beauty of smoke. Hell top leaf. Cheers. Cheers.